I'm sending out my turtles. Okay. Let's finish all of this off. Oh, these, these fields are, are pink. I was wondering what the pink was on the map. I mean, if I can just make a lot of phoenixes, life's gonna be pretty amazing. I don't think I really need anything else. I'm just killing whatever I can over here. I got plus five supply for, uh... What? What did I do? Oh, hey, we have, uh... Hi, y'all. I have a couple of, uh... Canoptic jars. All right. There's just a bunch of... Okay. Uh, go ahead and throw those into the temple, please. Like, I'm on an island. Do I really need to worry about anything if I just have a lot of phoenixes? So I now have 160 supply. Holy shit. How much supply does this give you? I can get... Wait, no, 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 that's the wrong thing. Hold up. What about, what about another town center? Canoptic Jar was your nickname in college? Really? Isn't that the jars they use to store organs in after mummification? That's a... Hmm. Alright. Bit weird, but... They gave you that nickname? Yeah. Maybe that says more about you than anything. Any, any, anyway, so that's okay. Did I drop off my... Uh, yep, I dropped off all my stuff. And we are making phoenixes now. I have a lot of available supply. We, <laughs> we are... We are making phoenixes. What's the objective? Capture the Osiris Peace Card. It's over here. I think if I just make a lot of phoenixes, I can just fly over there and burn everything to the ground. That's my current plan. It's a good plan. Um, they do cost a little bit of money, but honestly not that much. So they're not really that strong, I don't think, but... It sounds like a plan. It's a good plan. So, am I increasing my supply by making more villages here? Doesn't look like it. I'm up to 163 right now. Let's see what this village center does over here. Um, I need a lot of points. I need a lot of points here for uh, the favor for this to work out. Just go mass aircraft loco, like the US of A. Mm. USA is kind of OP. Do you guys even deal fucking damage? These are boats. Yeah, they're not very impressive. <laughs> I was kind of thinking I'm making battle cruisers here, you know? Hard to lose a campaign mission when you have 17 battle cruisers, but No, I'm I'm kept at 160 supply it seems. What if the egg falls in the water? That's a very good question. my phoenix impression oh my cat left a little while ago i was gonna say i feel like milo is not gonna like that noise <sighs> yeah i don't want to have a soggy phoenix 
don't like that at all. Burn him! I mean, they're not bad against structures. They do quite a bit of damage. I still have one heavy barge going to town in the top. Not bad. Burn their homes! Hans! Bring, bring some Flammerwerfer! There's Tears of Ra over here. Villager hit points? Ah, oh, we don't give a shit about villagers. I have too many of them, actually. You guys want to see how much I care about my villagers? Rig. Delete. There's 11 of you on idle. Delete. Okay, I do need a little bit more gold though, so maybe don't delete all of them. I have too much food. Way too much food. You guys, oh, you burnt the guy inside of it? No, you just got a new target. How is the catapult attacking air units? Maybe I'm asking dumb questions. Yeah, I played Cult of the Lamb. I was very successful in that game. Oh no, my little, my little eggs. Yeah, no, I am very good at being a cult leader. Absolutely. I'm basically trying to play Skytals. Hard to lose when you play Skytals. Screen! Eggs are getting wrecked? That's okay, I'll make new ones. I mean, I don't have infinite gold, so maybe I don't need to be a complete idiot. This is kind of an unlosable situation right now. The only thing that really runs out for me at this point is gold. And I still have a bunch of it. Not a ton, though. No, this is campaign. We're doing a campaign. Egyptian campaign. Uh, where's the Pharaoh, by the way? Pharaoh, are you simping? Pharaoh, I need you simping. No, you're not simping, are you? Where are you doing, buddy? Where are you? I hear you far away. Were you inspecting the trees? Just because you're royalty doesn't mean you don't get to work. Actually, I think he's now. Yeah, no. You know what? He could probably decide whatever the fuck he likes. Yeah, the phoenixes are really expensive. <laughs> Actually, no, they're fine. Letting them do their own thing. I wonder if I need to be target firing stuff. I think I should be target firing stuff instead. Yeah, they don't really do a lot of damage, guys. It's a bit slow going. I'm thinking the unthinkable. I'm thinking maybe what I should do is make a boat and just transport. I have a couple of guys over here that would be nice to help with. Protect the eggs, Loco? Nah, I think the age for the phoenix is gone. I mean, I'll keep making phoenixes, but... These phoenixes have the least 
impressive sounds I've ever heard. They sound like chickens. Okay. Uh, can you guys, um... How many units can go in one boat? All of them can fit in one transport? Into you. Insane. Alright. Uh, you guys... Get out of the boat right over here, please. I've tried clearing a bit of a path. It's not the best, but it'll do. Yeah, right over here. Pharaoh is still busy looking to the gods over here. He loves the gods. It's because, you know, it's basically family, right? He loves his family. And his sister, who's also his wife. It's beautiful. True love. Phoenix can get annoying. Yeah, the sound effects are nice. I think the sound effect here for the Phoenix is maybe not the greatest, but it's fine. Yeah, so my gold is actually starting to run out over here, but I still have a camp up north, so I think it's all good. Okay, let's kill some of their structures. Monument to the gods. We don't want to see those anymore. The only gods that count are my gods. That's how it works. There's a pyramid. It's got a capstone and everything. A historically accurate pyramid? Love it. It's a tiny little pyramid though. This is kind of a small pyramid. I don't want to like pyramid size shame or anything, but I feel like they were larger. Or they are larger. It's a landing platform for alien spaceships. Ah, right. Very nice, Marcus. Huge. Making a pyramid in Twitch chat. Manaro, what are you doing over there? A hero has fallen. I have a lot of idle workers. Delete, delete. I would like to do some more laser gators. So here's the uh, Osiris Peace Guard. What do I do with it? Capture the Peace Guard. Okay. There we go. I 
guess we just have to kill everything that's around here. Get the Osiris piece out of the city. We must fight our way through ah. the south gate. Let's get over here, I guess. Oh no. The egg actually <laughs> the egg popped over here on land. It's a bit weird. But it works. Okay. Let's have you drop the stuff off right over here. We'll just kill whatever is killable in this area. Okay. There's a transport ship over here. Um, I have a uh, a transport ship over here. Do I load the Osiris wiener onto my transport ship? I don't know if it's gonna fit, dude. It's a big wiener. A hero has fallen. Damn, how did such a big... Anyways. Oh shit, bad timing. Take it easy, take it easy. Okay. Wait, where do I actually bring it to? Oh, over here! Guys, I brought it to the wrong place. Um, a bit awkward. I didn't realize that I didn't have to actually bring it home. I had to bring it to the... Uh, okay, you get back onto that ship, please. No, 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 don't kill the ship, okay? I don't know what happens if the transport ship dies. The game may suddenly be unplayable. Um, nope, can't take a boat. I mean, I've killed most of the stuff over here. Okay. I have a couple of phoenixes being annoying over here. We'll transport some more units from one side of the map to the next. Looks like my entire army over there got wrecked. We'll rally them over here. And I, I will repair. Go into. Go. Okay. You guys get dropped off over here, please. You attack that. Uh, it's slow going. Is this wiener exposed? Oh my god! No! It's okay, it's okay, don't worry about it. We have some new phoenixes crossing the little pond over here. That'll be... that'll be enough. Kill the gate. We need to bring it over here to that uh, to that banner. That's the goal. That's all we need to do. They don't realize it, man. They didn't realize that we stole the treasure. Okay. Bit of a clumsy mission because we have to use transport ships, which are always clumsy missions in any game ever. <sighs> but we got there eventually. Okay, so that's the second piece that we found um, of Osiris. 
Athena appears in Arkantos' dream and reveals... We are safe here for now. We will plan in the morning. Ah, it's a fun game, Chopper. You have done well. Now I must prepare you for the sometimes. rest of your journey. Zeus is all-powerful now, but it was not always so. Ages ago, the Titans ruled the universe under Kronos, and humanity suffered under their harsh rule. Caster. I'm a caster. I cast Starcraft. Follow me, father. <sighs> okay, all right, all right, all right, all right. I'll follow you in a moment. Okay, we gotta follow Castor. Is this the Egyptian campaign? But maybe we're doing a little bit of a Greek site mission? I mean, the main story, I guess, is Greek. as other men, father. You are favored by the gods. Mm-hmm. That's what I told your mom. To the temple. Oh shit. Am I supposed to uh, go into the temple? Playing Ring Around the Rosie. Dude, my son is pointless. Look at this useless son. Kill him. He's useless. They're just pushing him. Okay. Garrison the relic into. How do I. Can I. How do I? Okay, I don't know. Yeah, he just gets pushed aside. I guess we just kill these two guys. His son is 14 or so, Loco? That's okay, he's still useless. What do I do with the with this? I, I have the thing. Can pick up relics and drop. Oh, there's a relic over here. I'm dumb. I didn't see that. I will not see a single Keck W in the chat. Oh my God! Look at Zeus going in deep. Zeus is actually a shaman with chain lightning. What a guy. Dude, imagine my son actually did something. Holy shit, dude. I paid for all those sword fighting lessons and he's not even doing shit. He's just standing around with his fancy armor. Yeah, if we get to do the myth of Abraham and his son, I would sacrifice Castor. No hesitation at all. Stab him right away. Accidentally go through with it all the way. Yeah. The trials you face strengthen you. Continue the journey before you, father. Wait, wait, wait. Why is my son giving me, uh... Why is my butt... <laughs> my son is backseat living me. Now... When I was 14, my dad would be like, yo, lol, cool story, bruh. That, that was basically it, because all I wanted to do when I was 14 was play RuneScape. He wouldn't really listen to me like that. Anyways. Zeus, Poseidon, and Hades did battle with the Titans in a great war. Kronos and the Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus the deepest part of the underworld. Zeus came to rule over all the heavens. Poseidon envies his brother's domain and wishes it for himself. Kronos knows this and tempts Poseidon with promises of power if he is released. Poseidon? No. Yes. There are several places where one can enter Tartarus, but Zeus sealed them all with adamantine doors. These can only be opened by a mortal's hands. Gargarensis. The gate? That's what we saw when we entered Erebus in Greece. Yes. Gargarensis believes that if he helps the Titans return, Poseidon and Kronos will make him immortal as a reward. Hype? Destroy this landslide to escape the underworld! 
Oh, I was running newspapers when I was... Uh... I think I started doing that when I was about 14. Yeah, I think that's actually about right. Gewoon een krantenwijk, jongen! Ooh, chariot riders. So this has nothing to do with the Egyptian campaign anymore. We have flaming weapons. Target anywhere on the map to cause the weapons of all your human soldiers and ships to burst into flames, increasing their attack for a short period of time. Are my parents Dutch? Yes. <laughs> They're a lot more Dutch than me. There's a Hydra over here. Can I, uh... Can I one-shot you? No. I was gonna say, that's, uh... I guess I'll kill the Hydras. The Hydras are scary. The Avengers are scary too, though. I don't know if I'm gonna get more of these guys, but... Okay. Time to go! I don't know what this guy's attack is like. But if we just nuke him down, it's fine, right? That looked like Varys. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arkantos. Fighting old battles again. Ooh. We have some chimeras over here. We have a lot of priests as well, so as long as I don't lose too many of my troops, we can repair them. Also known as healing. We can repair the human body. I think that's what they do anyways. Loco's parents are Dutch. Their first house had the shape of a wooden shoe. Yeah, factual. What? Dude, I looked away at... I was looking at the guys in the chat. Ay, 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 ay. You went to a Dutch college in the US? What does that mean? A Dutch college in the US? Do they speak Dutch? Follow me, father. You are not as other They speak English, but it's like super high percentage of Dutch or of people that have by the Dutch gods. heritage. I really wonder how I should picture that. Like, what does it mean to have a very high percentage of students that have a Dutch heritage? Like, how does that make it a, a Dutch school? I, it's a bit like, I've heard that a lot where people are like, oh yeah, I'm from the US, I'm of Dutch heritage. I don't know what that means. Does that mean like people that were going over back in like the 19th century or whatever were Dutch? Are they like tall? What, what does it mean culturally though? Because I wouldn't be surprised. I know like Iowa, for example, has Orange City. Um, and I've asked Rashi about this many times because I find the, the whole concept kind of fascinating. So they have like a Dutch festival and stuff and they have like a Dutch, a lot of Dutch things. But a lot of the Dutch things they seem to do in, in Orange City, in Iowa, are like Dutch things from like 100 years ago, 200 years ago. So it's like traditions that aren't actually very Dutch anymore in 2024, if that makes sense. They would say things like, if you aren't Dutch, you aren't much. <laughs> oh no, but they're all Americans, right? I'm assuming. You have Americans in, or <laughs> Dutch Americans that go to school <laughs> saying, if you ain't Dutch, you ain't much. But they're all actually American. All right. <laughs> Dutch Canadians do the same thing. They're probably more Dutch than me. Yes. 
Except yeah. I'm, you know, <laughs> I'm actually Dutch Dutch. <laughs> but culturally, they're probably closer to like the Dutch a hundred years ago than the Dutch right now, if that makes any sense. Do they use the metric system at the very least? Do they celebrate, I don't know, Sinterklaas? Do they celebrate the 5th of May? What about King's Day? How does this go? Like, I don't, I'm trying to figure out where, like, the limit is. You did a science course? Oh, I guess, okay. So I guess she used metric regardless. So does this school actually, like, identify itself as a Dutch school? Like this college? Okay, okay. No, that's not really a thing. I see, I see. It's just got a lot of people of Dutch heritage. I feel like Dutch culture is not nearly as interesting as like, for example, Italian culture, you know? Like, I, I can picture Italian culture a lot better than I can picture, like, Dutch culture. It doesn't seem to be... I don't know. Yeah, I mean, we don't have as strong a culture, it seems to me. At least to me, but maybe that's because I am Dutch and it does, doesn't seem like it's the same thing. Well, the 5th of May in the Netherlands is... is... Liberation Day. It's like the 4th of July. But, you know, the Dutch version. I'm assuming people that identify as Dutch in the States would know that, right? But maybe, <laughs> maybe, maybe not. I, I'm trying to figure out where, where they draw the line. Poseidon and Hades did battle with the Titans in a great war. Kronos and the Titans were imprisoned in Tartarus, the deepest part of the underworld. Zeus came to rule. Okay, we've done this part. We've done this part. Liberation of what? Well, it's kind of turned into like a general freedom day, I guess, is the best way to explain it. But Destroy it's considered to be to the, underworld. Um, the day that the Netherlands got liberated in World War II. Malista. Ne. Esto. Ne. Malista. That looked like Varys. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arcantos, fighting old battles again. It ain't free loco unless you have a second amendment. All right. Which one's the second one? I'm wasting some shades here. Yeah, I don't know how big of a deal it is. A lot of the Dutch folks in the in World War II got liberated by the Canadians. Yeah. There's still a, uh, I think there's like a, the Dutch government still gives like yearly gifts to the Canadian government. Which is kind of cool. Can I win this? I kind of didn't, wasn't paying attention, I was busy talking. So I didn't really micro anything particularly well. Nope. I think I should have used this a little earlier. Maybe I can win this. It's a little bit of a mess here. Alright. My city was liberated by the Canadians, but everybody Oh what? Okay, I need to I need to do this again. Wait, your city was liberated by the Canadians, but everyone claims it was the Brits? Hmm. I want to look this up. I want to... Traditions of Dutch Americans. Like, I, I want to... 
I find this a very interesting subject. Like, what what do they? What what is what does a year look like for a Dutch American? How does it work? What 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 do they like? How do you? Oh wait, Dutch Americans also count as guys from. Hold up, right now, the Belgian folk are are lumped together with the Dutch. Hold up, hold up, hold up, right now. Don't like this at all. Fucking exposed over here. 2021 estimates self-reported. So you ask people, hey, are you of Dutch heritage? And 1% of people say yes. It's self-reported? Do any of those people also speak Dutch? Is that a thing? So 74% of the people that identify as Dutch Americans are Protestant, 10% are Catholic, and 15% other? Those percentages are way higher than the Netherlands. Way, way, way higher. So I understand the history, but like, what does it do in like 2024? Like, how does this... No, the Amish are actually German. Dutch American Friendship Day, April 19th, is Dutch American Friendship Day? Really? Oh, I've never heard of that. It was also the day the house he purchased in the Fleur, okay, and the Hague was become the first American embassy. Really? The first American embassy in the world is in the Hague, which happened to be the house of John Adams? I had no idea. So John Adams was received by the State General, which is like the uh, the Dutch main government body thingamajig. No, so this is Sinterklaas, not the same thing as Santa Claus. We f we celebrate both. Many of the larger cities in the U.S. have a King's Day. A festival that's celebrated on the Netherlands on the April, yeah, April 27th. Okay. They eat Dutch foods like croquette? No! On King's Day, you ate oranje tompoese, chat. Croquette, friet met mayonnaise, zout de haring. No, 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 no. Those are not things you eat on King's Day? Oh no, it's all wrong. I mean, you can eat it too, it's fine, but... This is not the traditional food to eat on King's Day. Enjoying the sounds of Dutch music. Hmm. Is this like EDM? There's a lot of Dutch DJs. Dutch music? <laughs> Enjoying the sounds. Yeah, I guess because the lyrics are... So what, what, what state has the biggest percentage of self-reported Dutch? South Dakota? There's people in South Dakota? I had no idea. Huh. Learn something new every day. No, oh, okay, no, no, that's mean. Is it? I don't know. I've never met anybody from South Dakota, I don't think. Is there anybody in the, in the chat who's from South Dakota? I feel like I never hear anybody talk about South Dakota. 4% of the state is 37,000 people. Yeah, 38,000. Never any, anybody from South Dakota. They don't have internet in South Dakota, Loco? Okay. That, that, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, that's not a lot of people. Very few in Hawaii. And yeah, okay, fair. I do find this very interesting. Dutch Canadians. European Americans? Okay. 
It made my day with you taking an interest in my school. Thanks. <laughs> I just find the whole concept kind of interesting. Because it's like one of those things where like, maybe my family, if I go back to the 1800s, isn't from the Netherlands. I think they probably are, but I've never looked into it. But there seems to be a really big focus in the States on looking at where like your ancestors came from. And I feel like most people I know have absolutely no clue in the Netherlands where their ancestors came for, from at all. Like you can kind of guess sometimes, but it's not really, not really as much of a focus. There's over a million Dutch Canadians? What the fuck? Dude, look at us, we're multiplying. What's going on in 2006, dude? We don't mess around. Very strong. Very strong. They're getting it on, dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. Now, I know a lot of people... Um, so, actually, I have some family that, like, moved over after World War II to Canada. A lot of people were like, nope. Done with this country. Those Canadians that freed us seem pretty neat. But that's like, that's like, you know, that's like 80 years ago or whatever, right? Like, that's not as long ago. Yeah, I guess that's kind of what happens, right? Like, things happened 80 years ago, but that tradition kind of keeps going. You kind of keep track of it. Yeah. Tiger Woods has Dutch ancestry through his mom. Well, that explains why I'm so good at golf. Ah. Yeah, that's that makes yeah. I've never played golf actually. I've I don't know. Yeah, a lot of Dutch people moved over to Canada. I do know that. Percentage of partially Dutch ancestry by county. Let me guess. Let me guess. The areas that are very densely populated percentage-wise of Dutch people, right, are probably very flat. Am I correct? Is this like the flattest part of the entirety of the United States? It's just flat. There's nothing. You could ride a bicycle really well. Is, is it that part of the country? There's no way they're going to settle in the mountains and shit. There's no way. <laughs> mountains scare Dutch people. Not really? Oh, okay. Well, that surprises me. No Dutch people in Texas. No, no Dutch people in Texas. Or at least no data on Dutch people in Texas. Nobody knows. Pennsylvania is very hilly. Yeah, but the Pennsylvania Dutch are actually German, if I'm not mistaken. But I don't know where Pennsylvania is. I guess it's somewhere over here, but I don't know. It is interesting. It is kind of cool. Sorry, back to Age of Mythology. We took a little bit of a, of a sidestep. It's the big Destroy rectangle above New York. Okay. The underworld. Wikipedia stream? A giant tangent, yeah. So I gotta decide what I kill with my shades. No, what the, the fuck are you doing, buddy? Oh, maybe this is actually good. That was actually totally fine. We killed one of these guys easy peasy. Maybe we can kind of drag them in. One at a time. My guess is there's no Dutch in Texas because it was Spanish for a long time and some grievances linger. Honestly? Would not be surprised. The Dutch in the Spanish history is... Uh, We haven't always gone along very well. Okay, what do you guys think I should use my shades on? Because it seems like there's multiple waves. I don't really like the Hydra, but I feel like the Chimera might be more dangerous. Maybe not. What about them? No, we'll, we'll use it on the Chimeras. 
Greek, you tayo. Are you refer? Well, I know that Pennsylvania Dutch are mostly German, I think, of heritage, but I'm not exactly sure. Are you, are you refer? There's some spots in Texas with lots of people of German ancestry. Okay. Okay, we'll try and heal everybody up. There is. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arcantos, fighting old battles again. Okay, I think this is a good start. We'll have you over here, and then these guys go and attack those rocks. Because I know there's going to be another attack wave, and I'll use my flaming weapons on that attack wave. What? What am I doing wrong? Do I run away from it? Oh god, do I get wrecked by these guys? Holy shit! I think I I, I got memed by the AoE. I should have split. Maybe it's fine. Maybe I can salvage it. I don't know if there's still another wave after this. Okay. I think there's another wave of units that comes now, doesn't it? I think there's one more wave. Yeah, the scorpions show up now, right? But I do have a few heroes still around. Okay, the priest is going to town. I think it probably is on a percentage here for the rocks. I don't know when those scorpions are going to spawn. Maybe everybody get close. I watched a bunch of YouTube videos on how the Amish live. It's kind of cool, actually. It's at least interesting. But I don't think they're Dutch. I'm pretty sure they're mostly of German descent. But maybe I'm mistaken. Um, so this seems like a lot of enemies that I cannot kill. Holy shit. Guys, what? Should I just be nuking the rocks? A hero has fallen. What happens now? What if I lose everything? There's defeat music! Oh no. Okay, yeah, that, that attack wave is kinda nutty. I need to definitely not lose that much against the uh the second wave. <sighs> Destroy this landslide to escape the underworld. I think I'm gonna keep these guys in the back. And I'm gonna try and see if I can use my shades on maybe that attack wave. If I could save my shades until that attack wave, that would be huge. I'm gonna try and see if I can maybe kite them. I should probably be smiting this thing. Like there is. It has been a long time since you sent him to the underworld, Arcantos, fighting old battles again. Okay. These guys have a lot of HP, though. This is fine. My heroes don't really die. Okay. Okay. My other guys are really eager to fight, man. Holy shit. <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Take a break. Take a break. I gotta hold position him, otherwise they're gonna fight for sure. No, no, no! Okay. 
Well, there's a. I think it's mostly like a a linguistic confusion type of thing, where like German for people in Germany is called Deutsch, and I think a lot of people confuse Dutch and Deutsch. So I'm pretty sure that's just the reasoning. It's just like a bit of a mix-up. It probably was supposed to be the Pennsylvania Deutsch. And who knows what the difference between Germany and Deutschland is anyways, right? Like, <laughs> both of it is far away. You were confused about that for years? Right. Yeah. So in the Netherlands we say that we speak Nederlands. So we would say Nederlands spreken Nederlanders, which would be like Nederlandish. We don't use a word like Dutch ourselves. So I don't really know what the origin of the word Dutch is, but I guess we didn't come up with it. If it was called Netherlandish, there would be no confusion. <laughs> yeah, the confusion is only in English. Yeah, it's not in German either. In German, they will say Netherlandish, which is also a little bit different. I lost one guy so far. I think I just lost one dude. Better <sighs> up,